No, back to I'm a Slave and another action packed night in the jungle. Blue. Smashing it. Come on, Kirby. You're the real Kirby Bryant, right? And here we have Nigel Farage, politician in his natural habitat. First tick. This place is scary. Welcome <laughs> to the Scarina. It's Frankie the Toy. Yeah. It's Tony Bomber Bellew. Yeah. Frankie's away over the former horse. Congratulations, Frankie. Yeah. Commiserations, Tony. You are off to snake rock. There's no shower. Yeah. We can't do that to people. The public have decided the person they want to see face touchdown of terror is Nella. Oh, no, Nella. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's great. Come on, mate. Let's have it. Oh, Let's go. Well, join me now, Lucy Cave and Sam Thompson's best pal, Pete Wicks. Lovely to see both of you. Um, yeah, so the camps are divided now. Um, which they kind of tend to do that anyway, don't they, just to kind of space out? Yeah, I mean, mm. this is where the drama properly begins mm. because they were all getting on really well. And now some of them are in uh, Snake Rock, which is not so nice, and some of them are uh, enlarging it up as much as you can in yeah. the jungle. But, yeah, I think that's where sort of tensions are going to emerge. Sure. Although Nella and Fred, who had tensions... They did. ...now I don't really have made I up. I still can't quite understand what that was all about. No. <laughs> I don't but... think you're the only one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. Love and we're all like, what is going on there? But looks like, yeah, they're, they're fine now, hopefully. Because yeah. they're both on the same side. They have to be. They have to be. And there was another sighting. Oh, oh, please don't. Look. I mean, so many, there's so many people have complained about this. So Nigel Farage is behind. I mean, the thing that was funny was obviously Danielle doing the narration and pretending she was David Attenborough. <laughs> that but, was funny. I mean, we've seen far too much of his bum on TV. Yeah. Loads of people are complaining. And also, it's just playing into his hands or his bum, I guess, because he's saying, he's saying he wants, you know, that extra airtime and he knows he's getting it. It could that. be worse, though, because you could see Sam's bum. <laughs> oh, I've seen come it and it's not great. I'm going to be honest. With you. Sam's He's a lot got better to be from big. the front than he is from behind. <laughs> Talking about your Sam. He is such a sweetheart, and he's, he's, he is really Tigger. The way he bounds up to people and just kind of hugs them. Is that what he's like all the time? Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed him being in there because it means that I've got a little bit of a break. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, he's like that all the time, and that's probably the, the best thing about Sam is that he is just so excitable and such a positive yeah. guy, you know what I mean? And there's no filter, is there? He's just, that's what, that, what he sees is what you get. That's exactly. what Joe was saying. He's infectious. It mm. genuinely is quite an infectious. I'm quite a miserable person, so... <laughs> Uh, Sam, Sam, Sam's like the lighter side of me. You know I, mean? I need him in my life. Shall we have a, shall we have a bit of, of, of brightness from Sam? Here we go. Hi, I'm Sam Thompson. Come on! I'm energetic. Slightly annoying, mate. <laughs> Hello! Hello, mate. Hello, big fan. Thank you very much. Wow! 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 That's a splinter. This is tough, babe. Honestly, I get it, man. I've got two cats at home, so I get it. Everybody in love, we'll put your hands up. Yes! Yes! yes. Ah, come on! Yes, ah, you know, if you bleed, then you can do whatever you want, wherever you put your mind to it. Do you know what? You need people like that in a situation like that, don't you think? Or do you think if some of them are getting a bit hungry and a bit annoyed, will it grate on them a bit? I, I don't I, know. The thing is with Sam is I think when you first meet him, I always say that he's like a, he's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you learn to love him. Right. At the beginning, it's quite that's annoying. Like okay. But <laughs> that's part of his personality and that's part of who he is. It's mm. because he just wants everyone to like him and he just wants everyone to smile. Yeah, so he tries yeah. really, really hard. And actually, nice. if he was more of himself, yeah. And people would love him anyway, because he's wow. just the best guy. Yeah, sure. like, and maybe genuinely. that will happen, you know. Yeah, that, and I that think will. It will, I think so. And you're going to be going out. You will be at the end of the bridge. Hopefully, not right now, but <laughs> in him. a while. But yeah. you will be getting... He will be... Oh, gosh, can you imagine what he's going to be like? He's going to leap <laughs> upon you. Uh, to be honest with you, I think ITV is sending me out there just to protect Ant and Deck for when he comes out. <laughs> right. Because his obsession is real. It, it really um, is. I think that's the main reason he's done the show, if I'm honest with you, just to get closer to them. So I think I'm out there for protection. Uh, but, yeah, Zara could have gone, but we, we obviously thought Zara was still going to be in Strictly. Of course. Um, and then she could have gone, yeah. um, but I won't but give up my first. place. But you're there first. No! Yeah. Listen, Are first you kidding? Comes, First come, first served. <laughs> exactly. You're going to be flown out there in luxury and then you'll be staying at that posh hotel. Happy days. You'll be like this. Don't People, don't vote them out. Don't vote them out so you can get another day by the pool. At 100%. Sure, I love right. the fact that in the... Um... In the trial last night, he was he was saying, "Do it for Ant, do it for Jack, do it for Pete." Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's honestly, it's, it's I don't understand. I'm oh. baffled by his obsession. It's um, very endearing. It is, it is honest, endearing. I really miss him. 
Oh, dear you. And I didn't think I would. Oh. Because really, he really annoys me. <laughs> uh -huh. But what I realise is that I need that in my life. Um, and he's my brother and I do miss him. And I think he's going to win. I genuinely think he's going to do really I well. I would agree with you. D obviously, it depends what happens. It's still early days. But usually the people that win, or the people that are first, second and third, are, are genuinely nice people. Yeah. You know, they are. They are. They get rid of all this kind of, like, larger-than-life characters and, and all of that, and the people that have got their own game plan. And it usually is somebody pretty decent that wins. He's just, he's just so authentically himself that you, you have to respect and love that, I think. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and I think he's coming across so, so well. And it was probably his biggest worry before he went in oh. was whether or not people would like him, because he really cares about God, that. And, actually, so... and you can yeah. see that in his face as well, because you saw when him and Nella were up for the trial. Yeah. And he, he looked genuinely quite worried, that, didn't he? That he was thinking, am I, am I, am I unpopular? As soon as she got it, he was like, yes! Yeah, was like, <laughs> oh, Although now he's got to do it anyway. Thought, you might lose him actually, to GLS. Oh, yeah. Because him and Marvin are getting on really, really well. And they are... I'll be honest with you, Lauren, that's a holiday romance. All Is right? it? It won't last. <laughs> right, uh, OK. <laughs> he knows where his bread's buttered. All right? He knows so, better. He, he knows, knows better. better. <laughs> but he genuinely was... You know, he was really putting... It, the thing about him is he puts everything into things, doesn't he? You know, he's, he's not just sort of pretending to go along with these routines. He is there. Yeah. He's of, right there. One of the things Sam said he was most looking forward to going in there was to make friends. Which Aww. is just a sweet thing. And actually, I, I think he will do. He'll come out of this oh. with, with a lot of people. Marvin's amazing. I love Marvin. He's a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, There'll be really, a WhatsApp really group him. for all of you. There'll be a WhatsApp group. How do you think, though, because part of it in there is it's the beasts and the, you know, the beasties and the snakes and the ticks now are well, starting, he was excited aren't they? about seeing the tick. He was, he was the only person really excited to see a tick <laughs> on Fred's arm. Yeah, he saw himself in that because Sam's a little bit like that. He sort of, like, sucks the, the life out of you. Um, <laughs> No, sort of Sam the Tick Thompson. You're so <laughs> naughty. You're so naughty. But he really, you know, he's got he's got everything going for him. He, you know, he, he is going to be fine. And I know how much you love him. I do. I know. And what I love is you've got that relationship where you can really take the Mickey out of one another. Because I do think these days people are in danger of having sense of humour failures. Yes. And being and being outraged by everything. It doesn't matter what you say. You say something and it's supposed to be funny and it isn't, and everybody sort of piles on, which is a, a wee bit of a shame. I know it is. And yeah, Sam can completely take it on the chin. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he gets up to. And he's having sort of He's having enough air time, because that's the other thing as well. There's so many of them in there. Some people are not... You're not even really seeing very that's much of people. People are complaining, you know, uh, Nick Pickard, you can't see much of him. Oh, but I think right. it's yeah, good. Yeah. We've seen a bit of Sam, and hopefully we'll see more. And it's all been very positive, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, 100%. So you're not worried about him? I'm not worried about him. I, I know how excited he was to do this, and I just hope he has the best time. Um, and we're all going to be here when he gets... Well, I'll be there. Yeah. You'll be there. there. You'll, You'll be all be there. here when he gets <laughs> back. That's going to be such good fun. When do you go? Do you go quite soon? Uh, I'll go on Tuesday. All right. Because yeah. that's, of course, that's when they all start. I'll go to on come Tuesday. Out. But yeah. you, want, you want him in there to the bitter end? He'll be in there to the bitter end. I think he will 100%, as well. Yeah. I do. Otherwise, I won't let him come home. No. Top three. Definitely top three. And very possibly winning it. King of the jungle. He's my yeah. king of the jungle, regardless of how he does. Aww. He's actually a wee sweetheart. He really is. He's lovely. Thank you both. Thank so you so very much. Great to see you. Always Hopefully good we'll to talk see you. to you from, from the pool in Australia. You don't want to see me by the pool, right? <laughs> Listen, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it there. We do. <laughs>